Okay, today we're going to identify and apply properties of logarithmic functions. Uh, what to do is 6, 1, 6, 2, and 6, 3. So what we were doing the last two days, make sure you've done that, okay? We're going to have a test next Friday on March 3rd over um, cubic and cubic inverses, exponential logs, and exponential inverses. So we're going to learn what log or logarithmic functions are today. So what we want to do for our warm-up is graph the following equation in our calculator, sketch a picture, and write a table. So we want to graph the following equation in our calculator. So we pull this up, go to a new document, and to graph this, you're going to go to number two, add graph. Now I want you to notice right here, to do a log, this new thing that we're doing, log, you press control and then 10 to the power of x. So look, look right here. Control is right here, and then 10 to the power of x is right next to the number 1. Do you all see that? There should be like a little log word on top of it. Once I press that, you can see over here, you got two boxes for the two numbers. And I do have two things. I got 10, and I got x. So I'm going to type 10, go to the right, put an x, hit enter, and now I have this function that looks like it's going down, 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 but never touching the y-axis. Okay. So I'm going to press first Control T to get some points. I got 1, 0, 2, 0, 0.30. Uh, 3, 0 0.48, and then 4, 0 0.60. 0. So if you were to plot some of these points, okay, for sure you have 1, 0. It's going down, never touching the axis, and then it's going up like this. That is a rough sketch of a logarithmic function, okay? Now, you should have notes, so Miss Marshall is going to pass them out. Our notes for 6.4 uh, for our logarithmic functions properties. We're going to pass that out now, and we're going to do these notes. Okay, so this is the notes that you should have. If not, it'll be passed out to you right now. Make sure you get this in front of you. Oh, just not forget, you can't touch this from last couple days, right? Your favorite song. MC Hammer. So we're just making sure everyone has this paper. 6.4, working with exponents and logs. Make sure your name is on it. All right, we're going to get started here. So what is an exponent? Okay. Well, the exponent of a number says how many times to use the number in multiplication, right? So if you look at this picture down here, the blank is, is the number being multiplied, okay? So the base. The base is on the bottom down here, right? And the exponent tells you how many times to multiply. Sorry, the exponent. Cool? So, looking at the second part, what is a logarithm? So, a logarithm, that's what we're talking about today. This is new, so I hope everyone's paying attention. A logarithm goes the opposite direction, okay? So, they're basically asking you, what is the exponent so if you have two and you're trying to get eight what would the exponent need to be how many times do you have to multiply that two to get eight it asks the question what exponent produced this right so here's how you write it log base two of eight equals three okay
So, here's how you write it. The logarithm produces the exponent as its answer in general, log a base a to the x, asks how many times do I need to multiply a to achieve x, okay? So, inverse operations. Exponents and the logs are inverse operations. They're opposites, okay? So if you're ever trying to work backwards from an exponential function, you get logarithmic functions, okay? So let's try doing some of these mentally and see if we can get some answers here, right? So let's practice evaluating logs. All right, so log 3 of 27. This is asking us 3 to what power gives me 27? So let's try this. 3 times 3 is what? 9. Then 9 times another 3 gives me 27. Well, that's what I wanted, right? But the question is, how many times did I multiply 3? 1, 2, 3 times. Do you see how that works? Oops. Let's try again over here. Okay, log base 4, 16. So they're asking me 4 multiplied how many times gives me 16. So let's try this. 4 times 4 is what? 16. That matches, right? So how many 4s is that? 2. That is 2 different 4s. Cool. What about over here? 10 to what power gives me 1,000? So what's 10 times 10? 100. And that times 10 is 1,000. That's what I wanted, right? How many 10s did I multiply to get 1,000? 1, 2, 3 10s were being multiplied. Okay, what about this one? So 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. 125 times 5 is 625. That's what I wanted, right? How many 5s were multiplied? 1, 2, 3, 4. See how that works? We know 8 times 8 is 64, so that's really just 8. 2 eighths is 8 squared. And then for this one, we can actually use our calculator. probably help us out. How many times is 6 going to multiply to get 7,776? Let's try it. 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. There we go. We get 776 when we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is being multiplied. Okay. Now, I will say that you could have just typed these into the calculator, right? So you could look at the very first one, log 327. You could have pressed control 10 to the x and just typed it in. 3, go to the right, 27. The answer is 3, right? So you can just type these in the calculator to get your answer. All right. However, let's move on here. What about rewriting these? So let me show you how to rewrite these. Okay. This number, the little base, goes here. Thank you. This number becomes the exponent right here. equals, and this middle number is what it results in. 11 squared equals 121. That's true. 
Let's try it again. This little base, rewrite it. This is now the exponent equals, and then this is the result. 9 squared is 81. That's true. So again, base, what it equals is the exponent. The middle comes down. 7 squared is 49. That's true. The base comes down. What it equals becomes the exponent. It's kind of weird to have a fraction exponent, but that's okay. Equals this right here. The result is 6. All right, and then let's try it working backwards now. If I want to turn this into a log, then I'm going to write the word log. Okay, this 16 becomes my base. Log base 16. The result over here is what I'm logging, so to speak. And that equals the exponent. So log base 16 of 256 equals 2. Let's try it again. So log, this is my new base, log 12 of 144 equals 2. All right, log base 81 of 9 equals 1 half. Log base 8 of 512 equals 3. So you should be able to go one direction and backwards with these logs. And then this last part you can just do by plugging it into your calculator. It's supposed to be circled here and here. Not there, not there. Okay. So you can get a log by pressing control and then 10 to the power of x, x to the number 1. And let's just type these in and see what we get. So we got uh, control 10 to the power of x. Let's try it again. All right, log base 3, go to the right, 6561, gives me 8. Control 10 to the x, log base 10, go to the right of 70. 1.8451, 1.85, when we round it. Control 10 to the x, log base 3. Go to the right of 30, it's 3.0959, which is 3.1. And then control 10 of the X, log base 8 of 4096, gives you 4. Okay. Now these are the notes for this. We do not have any assignment today. Um, the assignment will be tomorrow, and this stuff will be posted in Google Classroom.